Alright, quick video on my air compressor. So, I used to have a nice big air compressor. Um, it's a belt drive, big uh, two piston pump, you know, 20 something gallon tank on it. It would pump up in 30 seconds. Uh, I could maintain pressure like you wouldn't believe. It was a good old school hardcore pump. But after years and years of use, and it got drained on occasion. Um, you know, down at the bottom of your air compressor, you've got a valve that you can open. I put a quick release on this one, so you can open this valve and let the water out. And usually your compressor is under pressure, so it comes out kind of violently. Um, you know, obviously I didn't do that enough. I probably don't do it enough on this compressor. Because I've got this brass valve on here, though, the water does get to collect in here a bit, uh, which keeps it away from the steel of the tank. This won't corrode like the steel will. Anyway, didn't have this on my old compressor, and the tank rotted out right here by where this comes out. Uh, I was actually luckily in the garage when it happened. Uh, it actually blew a little pinhole in the in the tank itself, started leaking. So I took it out. It's actually still sitting behind my dad's shop, uh, waiting for me to fix it, get a new tank. Uh, and that's been, you know, five years ago or something. I've been using this in the interim. And the problem I have with this is when I'm using a bigger air tool, like a um, air grinder or uh, my big uh, impact, this tank doesn't keep up. And, you know, obviously it doesn't keep up because of the capacity and the small pump, but it also doesn't keep up because it doesn't feed out enough air. So when I pull the trigger, I get like a second or maybe a second and a half of decent power. And that's just simply because of how much hose I have. My hose goes up and over to my hose reel over there. And so I've got quite a bit of hose. And once it uses the pressure in that hose, I didn't, wasn't getting enough pressure out of the tank to, to keep it feeding. You know, I might have had 110, 115 PSI at the tank, but it couldn't make it out. And so I bought a bunch of parts, you know, my... My main thought was to get rid of the little original quarter inch. Um, went down to Harbor Freight and got a 3 8 inch regulator. And, you know, this is overkill on, on this tiny little compressor. You know, this is much more fitting. This is, you know, what this compressor would come with. And, you know, it makes sense that it's on there, but I just need more air. Well, I found my problem. I wanted to show you guys what it was. So this is the original fitting that this valve was uh, bolted onto and this all sat like this um, right here. Then you put your uh, air fitting on there to plug your hose into and there you go. I've taken that all off and as you can see I mean there's, that's a decent sized hole there and you know that, that's about the same size on the regulator, so I thought the restriction was in the regulator itself, and it, and it very well could be. I'm going to go up to 3 8 and as you can see, there's a big change. A lot more volume going to come out of there. But as I started this project, I found a, a, the problem. And the problem was this. Look at that gasket. This was right here. It was the actual first junction the first part threaded onto that tank and it has got this tiny anemic little hole in it behind that stupid little gasket is a normal sized hole so why in the world the manufacturer of this air compressor would have a gasket like that is just beyond me that has to be the source of my restriction that is why this compressor was not letting enough air out to keep up with my tools. Mind you, I probably only get five seconds <laughs> of run time with a big tool with these tiny little anemic tanks, but five seconds is something. A, a one second is just not enough. So we're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to replace this angle with something like this, and that ought to flow some air. All right, quick little bonus fact. If you ever are changing out one of these regulators, whatever size, they are directional. So you see there's a little arrow there. That's the inlet. That's the way, that's the direction the air is supposed to flow through this. So it'll come out 
here. So these regulators do have an in and an out. Make sure you hook it up properly. All right, air compressor is put back together. Uh, new 3 8 inch regulator is installed. Pumped it up to 100 and something PSI, about 110. Set the regulator at about 100. See if it does any better. <laughs> Meh. It's a little better. Still falls off a little bit. But way better than before, actually. Just need a bigger air compressor and more money. Thanks for watching.